Hi. Couple days ago, I got a huge box full of orchids. That box there. And um, it included orchids from Aquagenera and also from Restzal. And uh, the way they got all in the same box was that Aquagenera did a shipment to Montreal and it was for pickup only. So they wouldn't ship to Ottawa. And so Restzal was very nice and offered to pick up my plants and send them to me. And then she also included her own plants that she wanted to gift to me. Like every year we have this, every spring we have this plant exchange with her where we share plants with each other. And so I got like so many plants and uh, it was really overwhelming actually to uh, put them up and uh, find them places. And for from Equigenera, I got only four Fragmentidiums. And uh, well, this is the coolest one. This is Fragmentidium Fritz Schomburg, and it came with bud. And look how big the bud is. And plant is pretty nice. It uh, it has few growths. And surprisingly, this bud survived two shippings. So pretty robust plant, I would say. And there were some roots, but there was no active root tips, which, uh, which is kind of worrying, but uh, now being spring, hopefully it'll grow some roots. So that's Fritz Schomburg from Aquagenera. And this one is an interesting cross between Carol Cancer and a Humble Ti, the long petaled one. So I'm really curious to see the blooms on this one. There are no spikes yet. I think it's a bit smaller plant, but it has so many growths. Look. So hopefully one of them will produce the buds soon. And uh, this is the third plant called Wanaki Sunset, also multi-growth plant. This is the say hybrid with bright red orange little blooms. I think there is a spike might be coming out. Uh, also a decent sized plant. And the last one from Equagenera is a Fragmentidium Periflora Cirilla Alka, also a Kawatii hybrid. And there might be uh, buds coming up. Um, again, I'm not sure if they will. They still can blast, right? Because all, all these plants, they survive two shippings. But um, hopefully this frog will keep uh, humidity around them and help, to, uh, help those buds to survive. So those were four plants from Aquagenera. Now, the plants that I got from Prescottsal are this Fragmipedium mimelia areas, another Kwaikiai hybrid. And this is actually a part of the plant that she bought from Aquagenera, but it was large and she uh, split it two ways and gave me oops, one part. So uh, it looks really nice. And here is a division of her plant, her own plant Sedenii, Fragmentidium Sedenii. This is the newer growth, very healthy plant and so many roots. This one has the best roots of, out of all the box that I got. So I'm really hoping it will produce me flowers when, when this growth matures. So those are my Fragmentidiums and now I have the whole stand of Fragmentidiums. And uh, why I ventured, because these my existing Fragmentidiums, I was actually able to keep them alive. That's another one. Alive and growing. So it kind of encouraged me to try more. And so I got those. Now, another plant that I got from 
on a breast cell is this gorgeous plant. This is Vanda Castellus Pinky, which is a cross between Neophinetia and Rincastylus. So it got its place with relatives. So it's a part of Neophinetia family now. Looks gorgeous. I'm like, I'm very grateful for this plant. There's so many growth. So I hope to see the blooms. And um, if you saw her videos, um, you could probably see the blooms on this plant because there are previous blooming's there. So that that's pinky. And the rest of new plants from Fresketsal are in a thing. They are two Miltoniopsis. This one is Hawaiian Punch Kalapana. Look how beautiful it is. Green and fresh and big. And the other one on the back is uh, also Miltoniopsis. Uh, the name is Bulwot or something. Something that I cannot pronounce. But I'll just, I'll just show the label. Okay, if it'll focus, bully volt or something with some numbers. So that's uh, a second Miltoniopsis. Um, I never had ancidiums actually because I don't think I'm, I was very good. At some point I bought Sherry Baby and it perished. So I was staying away from ancidiums at all times. But last year she gave me two Miltoniopsis and they did survive and they're growing very well here in Tink. So then um, I said, okay, I'll try more. And so I got two more divisions. And this is a division of Ancidium, actual Ancidium. Sotoanum or Sotoyanum. See? Nice division. So that's, uh, that would be interesting to see. I think it should be doing good in a tank. And I think there are some even spikes. Those little, uh, see, that's there. I think that spike coming out. That would be exciting to see the blooms in this one. And I also got a whole bunch of telumnias. Look. One, two, there is a third one on the back, and also one and two here. So I have five Tolumnias. Again, that's a very new for me. Um, Reskitsal ordered a bunch, and I think she divided them and gave me five different types. They're all different colors. This one is um, Jirak firm snow car snow carmine carmine this one is red sun direct flowers red sun this one uh, rainbow red confetti and this one is carrot direct flower flyer carrot and this one is Jarak firm bloody bird. So they're all different. And um, I'm really excited. I'm a bit scared. Hopefully I can grow them. But um, I'm really excited to see all different colors of blooms. So those are uh, new plants. Uh, actually, there's another one. That's uh, a piece is broken off my Wanaki sunset that has buds growing so i'm not sure if they will do good um there was not much roots on those pieces but surprisingly they are holding the buds and i put them in a tank just for that to keep the buds from shriveling so um uh, hopefully we will see the blooms on this one yeah so those are my new plants uh, from Rescue and from Equigenera. 
And I'm very excited. And thank you, Rescatel, for all the plants. It's like Christmas. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.